everyone, it's Audrey, and this video is going to be all about skincare, but specifically for minimizing redness, skin inflammation, just overall soothing dry, red, irritated skin. When I'm not taking care of my skin properly, it tends to freak out on me, so I wanted to share my experience, some products, and some tips I found to help with those issues. This video is in collaboration with Kiehl's, which I've talked about on my channel multiple times. Love them, love their products and branding. I'm pretty stoked about it, so let's just get into it. When I was experiencing a lot of dryness, texture issues, and red patchiness along my cheeks, first thing I did was avoid any harsh soaps or alcohols or synthetic fragrances in my cleansing products. I knew all of those things were just going to strip the natural oils from my skin, so I made sure to use a cleanser and a toner that were free of those things. This is the Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Wash. It's soap and sulfate free, and the matching Calendula toner is alcohol free. I feel like both of these really improved the texture and smoothness of my skin. I don't like to exfoliate with a scrub when my skin is having problems because I feel like it's too harsh. So I also have this gentle little face scrubber to massage the cleanser into my skin just for extra exfoliation to help with any dry patches and any blackheads I might have. On the subject of cleansing, another tip would be to wash your face with lukewarm water instead of hot. Hot water is just going to aid in drying out and irritating your skin even more. For moisturizer, there are a few things I switched up from my previous skincare videos, and that was to add some oil-based products. I started using Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado oil because the skin around the eyes is the most delicate skin on your face, and not using an eye cream specifically for that area was really starting to show for me. I've used two face oils from Kiehl's in the past, one for morning and one for night, but because I was experiencing all that redness on my face, I switched over to a newer one that Kiehl's sent to me. This is the Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Concentrate. Boy, that's a mouthful. <laughs> But in terms of products, I honestly believe this is what helped all the issues I was having. After one week of using it, I could really feel and see the difference in my skin. A lot more calmed down, not as stressed out or rough in texture. And the patchiness was definitely reduced. It's 60% naturally derived cannabis sativa seed oil and green oregano oil. So no fragrances, the scent is all essential oils. It smells more like oregano than cannabis, in case you were wondering. Cannabis is known for being an anti-inflammatory, and oregano oil is also known for reducing redness, so that really fit what I was looking for in a product. This goes on before my moisturizer. I use it once a day, preferably at night. Just a couple of drops after my toner has dried, and then I let it settle for a few minutes before putting on the Kiehl's Ultra Face Cream that I talked about in my product empties video. Even now that my skin hasn't been having those same issues, I'm still continuing to use it because even though it's an oil, it doesn't feel oily. I just feel like it's a nice moisturizer that absorbs really well. I don't feel greasy at all. Another major thing that I think makes a big difference in my skin is being mindful of my diet. Something I found that really irritates my skin is eating anything with dairy. I usually go for plant-based milks in my coffee, alternative cheese recipes, and things like that. I've read that sweeteners and caffeine can also be triggers as well, which is really unfortunate because I love both those things. Lastly, it just wouldn't be a proper skin tutorial without saying how important it is to drink water. There's a lot of info out there, but my opinion is that when I drink water, I'm constantly helping out flush the toxins and excess waste. I add this peppermint-flavored liquid chlorophyll to my water because I get really bored with the taste of just water. Chlorophyll is also another known anti-inflammatory, which I think is why a lot of anti-blemish products have chlorophyll in them. I do about 10 drops into a glass of water and then around 2-3 to three glasses a day maybe. The rest of the time, I just drink water by itself. So that is going to be it for the skin routine. I hope you find it helpful if you decide to implement some of what I mentioned into your routine as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!